What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new idea I have called a somewhat of a LP with a bit of an update kind of thing. I know people are doing a lot of that right now. Uh, first, uh, the game in question is a game called Aladdin for Super Nintendo. I'm not playing the Genesis version because I can never finish the Genesis version uh, without the use of save states. So I figured, you know. This is probably going to be the closer one I can finish without use of sta save states. Because I was really tempted to use safe, safe states uh, on this game as well. So, a uh, couple of things I want to bring up. Uh, uh, before, uh, well, as of recording, uh, I think we're up to part 45 on Sukkot. And uh, that's going to be the last one of my traditional kind of Let's Plays where I just play through a game and provide my own little commentary. I think I got really tired of doing stuff like that, uh, that sort of thing, because it's the same old shit every single time. Also, uh, the entirety of the finale, I had to render it in ten minute parts, because uh, every single time I tried to render it anything more than that, uh, it w just wouldn't render, and it would just simply crash. So that's why that if you see like five videos getting uploaded in a short time span, uh, that pretty much explains why. So a couple. Of, so that's as far as the YouTube channel. Uh, I just want to mention uh, some of my thoughts on kind of you know the genre of it's playing in general. Uh, I don't think uh, you know the term let's play is exactly dead. I don't think you know the term let's play or just playthroughs in general are dead. I think you know the whole genre needs to evolve just in general because uh, you know if you do the same old stuff that everybody else does people are gonna get tired of it and they're gonna stop watching and they're gonna watch like the most popular person. You know stuff like this, uh, you know, proves that, you know, you can still do playthroughs and be popular, uh, you know, go check out guys like Chuck Conroy, even though, uh, I don't exactly care for the guy, uh, like, a lot of these people, like, uh, Pewdie the PewDiePies and shit like that, uh, they've proven this kind of stuff is popular, so, uh, you know, do I really care for her stuff? No, not Really, uh, I didn't mind, you know, Chuck Conroy's stuff for a while till I found out some information about that guy, but that's all personal, and, you know, I don't want to bring my personal feelings to the way I feel about it, search and veal genre. But, I think in general, you know, to get popular on here, I think it's a case of, you know, right place, right time. You have to have the right idea at the right place at the right time so you can make the most out of it I think but here's the thing in general I think the PewDiePies and guys like that aren't gonna be as revered as long as you know a guy like the Flaming Spade or uh, Elo Green which not Elo Green uh, Quandau Reno I believe his name is I'm gonna post uh, both their channels in the description. Uh, you know, those guys seem a lot smarter than, you know, the standard, you know, PewDiePies of the world where it really just seems kind of brain dead as far as, you know, what they do is concerned. But uh, still, you know, I'm not taking shots at, you know, PewDiePie just to get popular or anything like that. It's just that, you know, in general, I'm not a fan of their stuff. I think their stuff, uh, you know, is more for a uh, simple, is for more of a simple-minded person who likes that kind of thing that I personally don't really care for. And, and you see how I'm trying to be neutral about the whole thing? I've always been try I've always tried to be like a neutral partner yeah, as far as, you know, arguments are concerned. But, anyway, 
uh, next look, next topic. Uh, uh, I've been watching a lot of football, and what the teams, well, the team I root for right now is uh, the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, they won the Super Bowl last year, and they got gutted in the off season. Uh, Ray Lewis retired. Ed Reed got traded off to Houston. Anquan Bolden got sent off to uh, try think team San San Francisco. LRB. I think they shipped LRB off to uh, uh, Cleveland. Well, they're Cleveland or Cincinnati. Then the whole. Th I think the teams a whole lot different than the one that. One Super Bowl, and it's not just because Joe Flacco resigned for $22 million and got his head up his ass. Uh, in general, here's my take on the Ravens this year. We're a really mediocre team, and injuries don't exactly help. But Jacoby Jones has been fighting a little bit on it, has been fighting through a little bit of an injury. Uh, Ray Rice hasn't been as effective as previous years. Uh, Dennis Pita is out for the year. Uh, trying to th uh, Troy Smith, uh, you know, he's not as good of a receiver as we would really like to have him to be. And plus, it doesn't exactly help that Joe Flacco's thrown uh, 20 pass, uh, 50 passes a game. 56. Uh, ah, screwed up there. Joe. Joe. Flacco's throwing like 45 plus passes thinking he's Peyton Manning when in actuality he's not Peyton Manning he's far from it the Super Bowl ring he has on his finger is due to that pretty dang good defense and he got lucky on you know, some very crucial plays that led to him to the Super Bowl plus not to mention one of the teams he faced off against was a injury ridden New England Patriots team he and it also kind of, you know, uh, didn't exactly help that uh, Colin Kaepernick crapped the bend Super Bowl. So, in general, I think, you know, we're a really mediocre team. Right now we're sitting at 4-6. and six, But, you know, the problem is Baltimore has always had problems with QBs. Uh, Trent Dilfer, Elvis Gerback. And now Joe Flacco. We haven't really had a very good quarterback since existence. So I think at best we'll probably finish nine and seven if we're really lucky, ten and six. But we're gonna miss playoffs because I think everybody else around us, you know, is a lot stronger than our team. Like the Jets have risen up to be like this you know, wild card contending team, even though a lot of us thought, oh, they're going to be 0-16, they're going to be the worst team in the league, when in actuality, they're actually not that bad. You know, they have pretty decent defense, and they might have something in Geno Smith. So, that's all I have to say about Ravens. I think we're going to have some really mediocre offenses, offenses uh, for a while until we can get out of that 22 million a year contract with uh, Joe Flacco because if we're going to get just 10 six kind of seasons out of them uh, we're not going to make like if it, this is going to be the kind of quarterback that does like 10 six nine seven I don't think we're going to see all that many playoff games and no uh, we're not going to win the division anytime soon because not to mention, uh, Cincinnati has risen up, but, but then again, the Steelers have, fall, have fallen, uh, that team needs, you know, a couple of good drafts for them to be any good anymore, and, and the freaking Cleveland Brownies, who said, oh, we're gonna, uh, dump the season, guess what, they're sitting at 4-6, and six, and they're competing with everybody else if you know uh if Cincinnati falls off the face of the planet uh then they might just win the division and make the playoffs but I'm telling you right now whoever wins the playoffs they're not winning one game 
I will highly, I would not hold my breath out on any of those teams winning a game in the playoffs right now because none of them are really that good. Uh, Andy Dalton is having a little bit of a sophomore slump, plus his defense can't really hold down the game. So that's in general my feelings about the Baltimore Ravens in general and the whole you know division that we're in we're in a really mediocre division it was I think there was a point where it was like I forgot what division that Seattle was in then everybody decided the NFC West where everybody was just bad and it was like one of those divisions where it's like okay you go in eight, 8 and 8 or you go 7 and 9 you win the division but you're gonna crap out in the playoffs and guess what happened? <laughs> Thanks to uh, you know Quest Field and uh, the Madden Curse, uh, Seattle beat the New Orleans Saints. P plus, uh, I think the year after, uh, well, not year after, two years after that, they end up picking up a really good QB in uh, Russell Wilson, who's kind of having a little bit of a slump, but. I still kind of believe in, you know, Seattle. Seattle is a force to be reckoned with. They're 10 1 for a reason. But enough about football. Uh, some other things. Uh, I can't really think of too much else besides going into my freaking personal life and, you know, some of my beliefs as far as bullying and that. Sort of thing. But, uh... Like, I'm not even going to touch the Richie Incognito thing. We don't have all that information about what happened with that guy, so... In general... You know, let's see what happens with Incognito. If it turns out that, uh, you know, Jonathan Martin's kind of mentally weak, then, uh, you know... Maybe Incognito might find a spot. He wasn't even that... G I heard he wasn't even that good of a linebacker. The first place, like, he was just the backup... Backup kind of deal. Like, he wouldn't make it on, like, the Pittsburgh Steelers team or whatever. But, you know, he might find a spot on the Jaguars. He might find a spot on some really bad team like Oakland. Oakland might pick, might pick him up. Hey, they picked up Matt Flynn and then dropped him for uh, some no-name uh, QB. So, so that's it for me uh, for this veil. I'm going to end it right here, even though it's like mid-level. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, and also... I'm going to leave this video. If you have any questions you want to ask me for uh, the show, like additional parts or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask them. And don't ask about, like, let's just be, in general, just civilized about questions. Don't ask, you know, why I sound like a crackhead. Don't ask why I sound like a retard. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to delete them off. Plus, uh, if you want, I'll give you a little plug in the description. So uh, that's it for me, and I will see you all later. Have a nice day.